Well, rapid communication can be a powerful ally during any kind of disaster. And today, we are hearing about a plan for a new nationwide mobile phone emergency alert system. The chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, Julius Janikowski, joined other government leaders and the major phone companies to make this announcement this morning. And he joins us now from the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you, Julia, so much for joining us. This is uh, many years in the planning. Explain to us exactly how it will work. Well, this is a new program that will allow government officials to send emergency alerts to your mobile devices, right? Everyone has a mobile phone. It's our primary mechanism for communicating. Mean, you have them with you wherever you are. Um, uh, 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 and now government officials will be able to send alerts directly to your cell phone in the event of a disaster. Now, Julius, I, yeah, I can't say I'm on Twitter all that much, but I do follow the White House tweets. How will this be different from the types of alerts that I already get on my cell phone if I sign up for them? So this will be different in a few ways. These are designed for major disasters. You know, we announced this this morning at ground zero. Uh, we had the tornadoes from last month in our heads as we were doing this. For major disasters, this will be a service that will get to your mobile device. It'll have a unique sound. Uh, it'll have a unique vibration. The message will appear on the front of your phone. Uh, and, um, and it will provide uh, early warning or instruction on disasters in a way that's simply not available now. One other point that's important, uh, the technology is designed so that even if there is network congestion because of a tragedy or disaster, these messages will get through. There'll be a fast lane so that these messages will get through to people to help save lives. So this is, you're going to start with Washington and New York. Exactly when is the start date and what do I need to do to, to be on the emergency system? So the start date nationwide is April of 2012. Uh, we announced today that we're starting early uh, in New York and Washington. Uh, this will have a number of major benefits. It'll accelerate uh, the rollout of devices. It'll accelerate the work that has to be done on the government side to put in place protocols for effective, efficient communication. There are some phones on the market now that have uh, the right chips in them, uh, the plan uh, chips in them. Uh, what we announced today is a major commitment from carriers and manufacturers to put the chips in phones by the deadline. Um, the ones that already have them in the market, uh, you'll be able to get uh, take advantage of this service with a software upgrade. Otherwise, they'll roll into the system as people upgrade to new phones. All right, Julius, I have to ask you one quick question, 10 seconds here. I want to get your thoughts on the Microsoft Skype deal while we're talking about communications. That certainly may change the playing field going forward. Well, I won't talk about a specific transaction, but it does tell us something about the importance of new communications technologies to our economy, to everyone's lives, whether it's voice over the internet, or mobile-related devices that require spectrum. I'll tell you, one of the big things we're working on is making sure that we have a platform for mobile innovation that leads the world. We need to free up more spectrum to do that. All right, Julius, thank you so much.